All right, guys. I actually took one head apart fully so I can give it to the machine shop. And so I go through this one more smoothly for the sake of the video. Now, some heads you don't need to take the valves out. But in this case, what I've noticed is you, I don't know if you're going to see, the, see it, but the intake valves and this head are very, very close to the edge or the surface of the head. So obviously, decking, we don't want to deck the valves. Make sure you got a clean area. Everything needs to go back to the same spot. I'm talking about the each each valve. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna talk through it. Just watch me do it. Trying to drop these off today. Anyways, let's go. Wait. Same uh, kind of order. Taking off these bolts to get the, the rocker assembly off. You don't want to be just taking bolts off, like just like the cylinder heads. There is a process. E, let's say number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you, when you put them on, it's like it's rever. Well, when you put them on, it's one, two, three, four, you know, eight, and then reverse. So eight, eight, seven, six, and so on. Five, just another cross pattern. almost there now it's time to compress the springs so we can take the valve keepers out and then remove the valves so I'm running out of room but this is super super important I gotta make a spot for just the valves they're gonna sit there until they get installed a clean spot right there so you can see that these are the exhaust valves and this is the intake side this is the front of the head or the engine and that's the back so I'm gonna start with the well exhaust in this case and I'm just gonna go put them in order you know one two three four one two three four all right using this kind of tool this is a valve spring compression compressing thing tool this is uh, pretty much for I guess almost all the heads out there all right so you do have a few different fitments for the top of the valve choose wisely this end will go here and this pointy head will go on the surface of the valve I guess I should actually, well, okay, I'm just going to do it in reverse. It'd be nice to have this turning thing and this, actually I'm going to, I'm going to switch these two. 
Actually, what, I'm, what am I doing? I can just do this. The Switched. So, top of the valve. Keep a magnet handy. I'm gonna have to catch those keepers. That's one. And that's two. Then you can slowly undo this. Remove the tool. Remove the spring. And then push on the valve. And that's your exhaust valve. Now Check this out. You want, to, you want to be careful with this area here. This actually moves up and down on the valve stem seal. So if you scratch this, that's going to leak. And Or, when these are old, at startup, after your car sits for a while, that's when your car smokes for the first very you know, few seconds or so. If these are, when these are bad or this is bad. But check this out, check this out, okay? Look at this. Hopefully you're gonna see these little dots kind of eaten away from the heat. I know this camera is not good at close-ups, but yeah, so these, these are, I mean, they're not bad. You, just, you could just put them back and, and get, you know, thousands, thousands and thousands of miles from it, but Got a deck it, so might as well. Well, I'm, I am, you know, removing these anyways, and I will lap these. All right, so we took one out. Now another exhaust valve. All right, and just keep going. guys that's it for this one now what's left is the valve stems I'm not gonna worry about them I'm done for today so these I'm gonna mark I can't see left or right on these heads so I'm gonna just mark it mark L so this is the passenger side which is the right one I know it's on the left but you know as you look as you sit inside uh, that's your left, that's your right. So this will get an R, that one will get an, an L. So these are going to the, to the machine shop as they are for decking and checking for leaks. Once they get back, I'm gonna first thing we will do is we're gonna lap the valves. I do have a video on it, I'm gonna try and, and put it up there. Uh, when I was doing my 06 STI, same process. Everything on everything else looks good. All these 
guys here the camshafts these guys everything the surfaces look very good so we should gain a, a little bit of power and maybe smoothness by redoing the valves and also I, I've been thinking I actually spoke with a buddy of mine that has done a ton of Subarus to go with the same cylinder head gasket the single layer one these are now not graphite any, any longer I think uh, Subaru got done with those in 99 or 2000 something like that not that these don't have an issue but if I were to put the MLS the multi-layer gaskets on this we're gonna lose compression and and power so that's a big no-no for this race car so we're gonna go with the single layer dealer head gasket valve cover gaskets uh, intake manifold gasket gaskets exhaust gaskets and all that stuff next one I'll show you how to check the level of the block with a straight edge and we're also gonna clean clean up these guys too See you soon.